hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel in this video i'm going to talk about ios 16.2 update on iphone 13 so on this iphone 13 i've received ios 16.2 update yesterday night so as you can see from the screenshot it came in about 1.16 gigabyte on this iphone 13 so if you're having any iphone starting from iphone 8 plus to iphone 14 or 14 pro max you should be able to receive this ios 16.2 update in this video i'm going to talk about the new New features and the changes and also talk about the 5g update in india with ios 16.2 so make sure you watch this video till the end so let's get right into the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on this channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings and if i go to the general and about section so as you can see if you look closely at the ios version it says ios 16.2 right so the ios 16.2 about section and if you tap on the ios 16.2 the biggest change is here so the new page looks like this and as you can see the build number is 20 c65 this page never used to look like this now with ios 16.2 along with the build number you have all this information what's new available with this and also you can go to support.apple.com from this page itself and in the settings so you can get more updates or more news on the ios 16.2 along with this you have a new modem firmware update so if you take a look at the modem firmware update for this iphone 13 so it's 2.21.00 i had taken a screenshot let me see whether i can find that so if i go there as you can see before updating it was 2.12.02 and after updating it has been updated to 2.21.00 so let's talk about the changes one by one so the first things first you know many people were talking about the 5g thing right so let me click on the cellular and cellular data options voice and data as you can see this is an iphone 13 but still i don't have 5g option the reason for this is i'm using vodafone india so if you look at this this is vi india i'm staying in bangalore city in india and vodafone has yet not launched 5g services in you know any of the cities in india so if you're using you know geo or airtel you might be seeing a 5g auto or 5g option here but it is depending on the network carrier services so if you're having uh, you know geo or airtel you might be seeing those options but for me the vodafone has not yet launched their 5g services so actually it's as of now you know it depends on the network carriers so if you're having geo or airtel you should be able to see 5g option but 5g should be available with ios 16.2 there is no restriction from apple side at least with ios 16.2 now the next thing there are a couple of changes that i wanted to talk about so first thing first if you you know go to the home screen you will be able to see a new application this free form so once you click on this free form i have talked about this free form application this is a collaboration tool so if you are having multiple devices and you want to sync all your boards on which you might be doing some collaborative tasks so all your boards and whatever you are doing on this live it will be you know again reflected to the other devices on which you have the same apple id synced in so it's a great tool great application you will be seeing this application once you install ios 16.2 now talking about the widget section we have couple of widgets here so if you go to the lock screen we have new lock screen customization and if i go to the lock screen and if i click on widgets so in the health section you have a new widget so if i click on health you have this new medication widget so that was not previously there along with that you have a new sleep widget as well so in terms of lock screen customization you have new widgets so that you can place on your home screen and can make use of there are a couple of other things as well so first thing first i want to talk about if you click on this profile option and click on this icloud if you you know go down i can see that there's a new option which says advanced data protection so it is off as of now if i click on this as you can see at the moment at the time of recording this video this feature is not available in india as of now but you know if you take a look at this what exactly does it mean and what are the features and what are the services this advanced data protection supports you'll be able to see the list of services you know this advanced data protection supports and will be able to back up for you this is basically an encryption and decryption services for more protection you can use this feature you can go through this and you will 
will understand what this is but as of now recording this video you know in india it is not available so this turn on option is grayed out for me so that's a new thing now if i go back so if you're using icloud plus like i am doing if you have this private relay and it is on for me so the new thing is if you open safari and let's suppose you, you have a website which is open right so if you tap on this double a you have now the option to show ip address or hide ip address so if i click on this as you can see it is you know prompting me it is basically asking me would you allow apple.com to temporarily see your ip address so i can click on that if i click on continue it will basically again reload the web page which it did and then again if i again go to this double a option it will show me i can hide the ip address so that's the new thing so apart from that there are live activities option right so we have been hearing about live activities for a long time now if you have an apple tv subscription and if you go to this tv option let me show you if you go to this tv and if you come down you can see this live activities under this live activities now you have allow live activities so you can enable or disable this and more frequent update so if you have an apple tv subscription then you can uh, you know make use of live activities apart from that in music services if you have an apple music subscription then you can make use of the apple's new music karaoke features which is really cool i have seen the videos and then you can make use of that now if i go to the settings many people were talking about the battery life but you know i've just updated my device yesterday night so i don't have any idea how the device would perform i'll come back to you in four five days about a follow-up review how the battery is performing with ios 16.2 on this iphone 13. so if you click on the battery health and charging as you can see the battery uh, health is at the moment 100 percent so it hasn't dropped that's a good thing and you know if i show you the last 10 days you know the screen on and screen off time are in front of you so again i'll circle back around the battery life and performance and you know i was talking about this uh, many times before you know the swipe home lag i'm not seeing this i've just updated my device few hours back so i can't comment that whether it will not come back or you know the issue is resolved so i cannot say anything about that at the moment but definitely in the follow-up review i'll mention about the bugs and the fixes which have been fixed with ios 16.2 so you know if you talk about the performance other than the you know lag so you know the performance is great and also i've ran geekbench 5 as you can see the single core score came in about 1728 and the multi core score came in about 4524 so these are the geekbench score for iphone 13 on ios 16.2 so then again with the help of this video i just wanted to talk about ios 16.2 update this being a large update and very important update for all of us i hope that this update is good for all of the iphone users and fix a lot of bugs and you know issues so with that being said that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed the video give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel your one like and subscription means a lot to me and it motivates me a lot to put out more content like this on youtube now with that being said i will see you on my next video Bye bye